What's going on YouTube? Yep, oh, got another video for you tonight. Um, for you, uh, for those of you who have watched some of my videos, uh, you'll know uh, a while back I did a video on a uh, AR build that I did, and, uh, and also I have featured it, uh, uh, I think once at one of my gun range videos. But what I want to do this time is I actually want to just kind of take a real good close look at it and let you guys see exactly um, what I got. I think the first time I did the video uh, on the build, uh, it was just kind of a brush through. Really didn't go into details about anything about the gun. And the gun's a very, very good gun, uh, as you will see here in a few minutes. Um, and I think it's worthy of another look at and um, so I did. So I just wanted to kind of go over it, uh, and kind of just go over it in detail, and then also just kind of talk about it a little bit. And um, I think what I'll eventually do is uh, when I uh, I've already cleaned it. And I try to take care of my guns very well. Uh, whether I shoot, you know, a few hundred rounds, of, or just a couple mags, I try to clean it every single time after I get done with it. Um, so, but I think I'll do a field strip with it too, but, uh, I was going to, uh, wanted to bring, talk about a couple of things, uh, real quick, um, before I get into the video. Um, I'm not sure if, uh, a lot of the people who've watched some of my videos have kind of checked out the rest of my videos. I, I continue to this day, um, get a lot of comments about the terminologies I was using uh, in the ever first uh, gun ammo related video I've ever did and uh, the terminologies I was using like I was using uh, the uh, the word clip instead of magazines back then and I you would not believe how many um, negative comments I've gotten from people about you know you know just ranging from just you know how dumb I am you know I'm an idiot I mean just just because I don't know how to uh, say the right words. Um, but I guess that must be all they've ever watched. Because if they would have uh, continued to watch the rest of my videos. They realize that I don't use, <laughs> I don't say that no more. And then also I uh, apologize about these uh, terminologies back in the beginning that I was using. Because uh, I didn't know better. Um, does it bother me? It does and it doesn't. Because I don't want people that subscribe or just people in general even if they don't subscribe uh, to my videos think that you know I'm just some some guy that just you know grabs something because it looks cool which is what I really did do in the beginning but now I, I try to pride myself and really uh, get educated on the, on my weapons and everything about it and I think that I've made vast improvements so for the people who watch my videos um, you know, don't judge me on the on my first video that I did. I think it was four years ago, five years ago. Um, you know, watch my other videos. Uh, do am I a gun expert by any means necessary? No, but I have you know locked down my terminologies. I think pretty well. Um, so you know, you know, just cut me a little slack there from time to time if y'all don't mind. And uh, also, uh, once again, I would like to say. To all the people who have subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, I love doing these videos. And uh, I hope that, uh, like I've said before in the past, that when you watch these videos, uh, you guys are entertained as much as I am as making the videos. So without any uh, further ado, let's get into the actual video. Now what I want to do is, like I said, I'm going to go over all, talk about the gun itself. And then just kind of go over the uh, individual pieces from the buttstock all the way down to the uh, compensator. And and go in greater detail. And let you guys see why I'm proud of this gun. Uh, and, ex you know, it cost me a, a pretty penny to build this gun. and uh, But I think it was well worth it. So, i got to go ahead and arrange the camera. I don't have nobody here to uh, do it. So bear with me. I've got to... Get the angles right and then we'll get into the guns so give me a second and uh we'll get this thing going get it going the way it needs to be all right i think that's about right 
Okay, we'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get this as good as I can for y'all. Okay, I think that's good. So here she is. Um, well, I guess let's let's get an overall view of the gun first. Whoops. And this is, uh, for all intents and purposes, um, my AR. Um, it's uh, all the parts are pretty much uh, spike. So I guess you could say call this a spikes tactical AR. But uh, it's not something like I said that I bought. I actually built it. And uh, but a lot of the parts are spike. I like spikes tactical. I love a lot of their stuff. And so I basically built my AR around it. So, like I said, let's go ahead and get into the uh, let's get into the uh, meat and potatoes of it. And we'll start here with this buck buttstock. The uh, the buttstock is a Magpul uh, SRT buttstock. Um, it I love this buttstock. It's got it's a very it's got a very tight tolerance on this thing. Um, you take a look at it. It's uh, it's the SRT uh, one. Um, it's got these little. If you pull these tabs off right here, you can store you know batteries or whatever you want. Maybe a little bottle of you know little CLP or something in there. Um, but uh, it's got these on each side, and it's got the lock on here. So after you open it and close it you hit that right there and it's you know there's a, a tiny bit of slack but not much it's very very good the uh, cheek the cheek rest is I love it because if you're a person that has a beard it's very beard friendly I guess you could call it and uh, for that reason I really like it um, I know there's also there's other ones out there but I like this one um, also it's got the uh, cutie uh, hole right there for uh, a sling so I really like that so that's that was one of the reasons why I went with it next um, oh and as far as the uh, buffer tube uh, and the buffer is just a regular H H buffer inside there um, also I don't know if I said that this this uh, the pad over here on the back of the buttstock the butt pad is removable so if you wanted to you know put a different thicker one in there or uh, for more cushion you could also next uh, we'll go to the uh, to the grip and it's also it's a Magpul uh, MOE K2 grip uh, I love the texture that's on the grip uh, it feels really good and uh, it's got you know text stippling on the front and the back and kinda just real grippy right here it's got a little compartment down there if you for more storage if you wanted to put more stuff in there. Uh, next, uh, let's get into the upper and lower. The like I said, this is the Spikes Tactical. It's a Spikes Tactical upper, lower, and lower. Uh, it's billet. Uh, very very tight tolerance. Um, uh, I like spikes, so I got like I said the upper and the lower, and I built off of it. The um, the B, the bulk area group on the inside is also spikes. Um, it's a nickel boron bulk area group. Um, it's a HP and MP tested. Very nice. I'll I'll flip it over and I'll show it to you. But I just wanted to let you guys know about it for right now. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that like I I love the like I said I love the BCM uh, gunfighter charging handles, and that's what this one is. It's the BCM. Uh, a char a gunfighter charging handle it's the ambi and uh, so I really like that um, also um, let's see here what else let's go into the uh, oh the sights on here is the uh, uh, Magpul Mbus flip up sights uh, front I mean I'm sorry rear and front flip up sights um, really uh, like those. Those are uh, co uh, coefficient with the uh, with the aim point. I'll, I'll talk about here in a minute. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to make sure I don't get a. Uh, I got notes here. 
because I had a lot of stuff to remove. Oops, sorry, folks. I had a lot here. Oh, also, I guess I uh, almost forgot. Let's, uh, let me go ahead and uh, let's clear the weapon. Uh, where we go? There we go. Nothing in the chamber. Okay. So, anyways, uh, let me get back into it. Uh, I don't want to get too crazy. There we go. Um, also, uh, moving forward, um, like I said, I got the uh, I got the Aimpoint uh, I got the Aimpoint Micro H1 2 uh, MOA uh, red dot on here. Um, I love the reason I got this was there's the uh, there's the H2 or the T1, excuse me, and that has the uh, uh, night vision that on it, but uh, you know, I don't do a lot of night vision night shooting So this right here alone was pretty expensive. Uh, I want to say it was close to six hundred and fifty dollars uh, for this uh, aim point um, The one thing that really sold me on it was the battery life on this thing this thing uh, It's the uh, it's got 50,000 hours the battery if you had it on this uh, They doesn't really specify on what setting it goes from zero to ten, I believe, on this on the uh, settings as far as low to high, and uh, it talks about that uh, when you open it up, it says you can leave it on at least three, and uh, leave it on for five years or fifty thousand hours, and the battery will not die. That is really really impressive. Um, so you know, I was really really uh, impressed with that. The uh, next uh, is the. Uh, is the handguard and it's a Samson Evolution series um, and I really liked it because I could uh, as you can tell I can put any uh, anything I want on there you know as far as um, uh, Picatinny rails is concerned and so what I did was is I uh, got a full Picatinny rail on the top and I got two small pick rails uh, let me get that over here Sorry about that. I'm trying to maneuver this on my own. Uh, come on, camera, get in there. There we go. And I got two um, small pick rails on this side, so if I wanted to put, you know, a flashlight or a laser on it later on, I can. But I, uh, I don't have to have a full pick rail on it, so that's why I, I chose this uh, Samson uh, handguard. Uh, the, uh, you know, I think I got ahead of myself. Well, let's go back to the. Uh, to the trigger for a second and the trigger uh, is a Geisley trigger I want to make sure I remember exactly which Geisley I got because there's different ones uh, the Geisley trigger in here is the uh, the Geisley uh, 3G trigger uh, where is it at uh, I, like I said I don't want to uh, Lord have mercy uh, if I would have went in order the way I wanted it to it would have uh, uh, where'd it go? I know I wrote it down. Huh. Anyways, it's a Geisley, um, it's a Geisley trigger. It's, I think it's the 3G, uh, the 3G, uh, trigger. Um, uh, Lord have mercy. Boy, just as I say that I'm getting better with everything, I, I screw up on the, uh, on the trigger. Um, let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. Do, 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 do. Okay. Anyways, that's what it is. It's the Geisley 3, uh, matter of fact, I, I looked it up on my phone before I, uh, I got here, so, um, and I forgot to write the notes down, so, let me just do that so I don't, uh, uh, let's see here. Okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's the Geisley Super 3G trigger. That's what it is. And uh, it's got about a three and a half to four pound put, uh, trigger pull on it. Also um, on here, it's the um, I forgot. Uh, like I said, I got ahead of myself. I got a uh, Magpul Mbus. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, a Magpul uh, bad lever bolt release on here. So you know, I don't have to whenever a magazine comes out. I don't have to reach over to hit it. I can just hit it with my trigger finger and close the bolt. Um, uh, now let's talk about the barrel for a second. The barrel is a, uh, spikes barrel also. 
It's a cat. Uh, it's a cold hammer forge barrel, one and seven twist, chrome molly. Uh, and the uh, gas block also is a Geisley. It's a Geisley low profile, super gas block. Um, and it's the the barrel also is MP and HP tested. Um, and then on the end here, uh, on the end, I have a BCM um, mod one compensator on here. Um, this gun. Um, it's uh, it's not the lightest gun. I've actually got uh, lighter, you know, I've got lighter guns, I guess you could say, um, in my collection. But this gun right here, from Sten to, from Sten to Stern, as you would say, I guess, um, this gun, um, I don't know, it's, I've got a couple of Daniel Defenses and I've got a couple of Colts. And some, uh, I think I got a Bushmaster and got a uh, Core 15. But out of all those guns, and they're all good, especially the Daniel Fences, are some very, very good guns. But this gun, I don't know, maybe it's just more of a mental thing for me because, uh, you know, I'm the one that put it together and I uh, built this gun from, from the scratch up. And so I'm, I think it's better than all the other ones. Which it probably is not, but it's probably about just the same quality. But to me, it is. And um, for that reason, uh, I love it. You know, um, this definitely is a... And after I built the gun, uh, now we're going to do kind of a really better view of this gun as I'm talking. Um, I've got a... I, had a, I have a buddy of mine uh, who is uh, he's in the military. And he has shot this gun, and uh, he said that this is it just as comparable to any high-end uh, AR uh, he's ever shot. And just as you know, he I mean he actually went over uh, with a fine-tooth comb from the buttstock all the way to the other to the uh, compensator, and said that uh, if he was going to build one, this is exactly the way he would have built it. So I felt pretty good about it. Um, when I did the research on uh, everything for this build and uh, to me this will you know this will definitely if if I had to go to any of my ARs uh, in a situation this is definitely the one I would choose um, I love it it's my baby uh, I hope to maybe eventually uh, someday uh, build more ARs and uh, but uh, as of right now, this is my baby, and uh, I love it, you know. And so anyways, um, I figured, like I said, I wanted to uh, kind of do the gun, gun justice and, and, and kind of do a video of it in more detail than what I had did in the past. Uh, it's, a, it's an awesome AR. Um, with, out there, you know, uh, the market is completely saturated with ARs nowadays. Um, if you're an AR guy, uh, it's like, how do you pick and choose between ARs, you know? Because there's, you know, so many good ones out there. Uh, you know, and then Obama with his gun scare uh, bans all the time. He's, he's the uh, gun industry's biggest uh, gun promoter, you know? So, you know, there's people buying and, and, and upcoming with all kinds of new ARs every day long, or all day long, excuse me. And uh, so it's really, you know, it's kind of hard to, to uh, blow away somebody with an AR, you know. Um, so, but with that being said, uh, I think I would take this uh, AR um, over any other, you know, out there, you know. But anyways... Um, thank you once again, you guys, for, uh, watching my video. Um, I've got, uh, coming up here, uh, real soon, probably here in the next week or so, uh, I've got a video I'm going to do where I'm going to, uh, I've got a couple of 308s I've had sitting in my gun vault for uh, quite a while with some scopes on it that have never been sighted in. And, uh, so I'm going to take them out and sight them in. Um, and I want to show them to you. Um, yeah, I think that you guys are really going to enjoy them uh, as much as I am going to uh, 
show them to you guys. So, also, um, I'm going to do a. I've got a really nice AK I bought. Uh, it's an Arsenal AK, and uh, I want to do a review on that also. So I've got lots of contents coming up. Uh, uh, excuse me. I've got a lot of content coming up. I'm also gonna. Um, I'm also going to do a field strip of one of these ARs. Uh, I know there's tons of videos out there uh, showing how to field strip, um, but this will just be my little niche uh, in that market, in that area. So anyways, uh, thank you guys so much once again for uh, enduring another video of mine. Um, like I said, I'm definitely trying to get better with everything. Um, I don't have professional cameras and I don't have people you know uh, to help me film it or else they'd be a little bit better uh, so I'm trying the best I can uh, with what I got so anyways with that being said thank you guys so much and until next time peace out